time this year to Chef Daniel's Cottage Kitchen. So today, I decided that we should kick off the year with a little bit of hummus up here because it's been a little while since I actually made a Chef Daniel. This is gonna be a short little video. So let's jump right into it with our, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need tahini, a little bit of chili powder if you want a little bit of a kick, some cumin, smoked paprika to garnish, lemon, your chickpeas, cooked chickpeas, and a minimum of two garlic cloves. Step one is we crush the garlic. We don't need it to be minced because of course it's gonna be minced in the food processor. But right now, the little bit of a Chef Daniel tip is, of course, once you've peeled it, take it under a knife and punch it. And this will kind of give it the mushy consistency that will really blend well once you put it into the food processor. I'm using two cloves of garlic. I've got an extra little one just in case it's not garlicky enough, but I think it definitely will be. So at the top of the bean, there's always a layer of oil. You don't want to pour the oil out, but what you want to do is mix the tahini at the bottom and the oil together. And this is also a really good brand of tahini. I recommend it. You want to add tahini and lemon juice to the food processor and then blend it until it's nice and incorporated. Time for a taste test now. Tahini is very strong. But... That's a good base. It's, that's got good everything, good aftertaste, good taste from the get-go. So, what I'm going to do now is add in my garlic, my cumin. Cumin's a very important ingredient here. A tiny, tiny bit of chili powder. I to give it a tiny bit of a kick. And you're probably going to be using smoked paprika for a bit of color, but also just add a little bit of it in there. Now that we've got all our spices in, blend that together. The chickpeas should be one of the last things that go in here, as a matter of fact. Let's see. Okay. Here are the chickpeas, and then ingredient because you do not want it to be too solidified is olive oil and So what I've done is added just a tiny bit of water, not too much. You don't want it to be watery, but you don't want it to be completely solidified. All that's going to do is help it come together. Okay, so a tiny bit more cumin, just because when you think of the hum hummus that you have, and you think of the flavor and smell of cumin, they go together. The tahini is definitely a main seasoning ingredient, but as spices go, cumin is crucial when making um, hummus. Okay, so honestly, hummus is one of those things where you take advice from me, but at the end of the day, you decide on the quantities. You are a person who likes more garlic, take more garlic. You're a person who likes more lemon juice, take more lemon juice. You're a person who likes more salt, take a little bit more salt. It's really all up to you. I'm suggesting some base spices, base ingredients, and a good technique to blend them. Oh. Now, to eat! And my boat is drowning in hummus. But, for once, that's a good thing. And of course, presentation on hummus is almost as important as making it. So what you want is, I have here some pita chips. Pita chips, non-chips, any chips will work. Hopefully not potato chips, that's sacrilege. But 
This is good. I've got a tiny bit of olive oil on there as well as a tiny bit of the reach over here. Smoke smoked paprika, which I've drizzled on top in a little boating container with robo. Very nice, but now it's time to eat. So taking a little bit of a square with a tiny bit of hummus and olive oil and of course a tiny bit of everything. Mm. I mean, the little bit of smoked paprika at the end, as well as the olive oil, really makes it pump. But then the hummus itself, it's so good. It tastes entirely handmade, but then also just as good as if you'd bought it from a store. I give this five stars. Guys, this is an amazing recipe. Everyone will love it. It really, it's super simple. As long as you have a good food processor. But... This is Chef Daniel, signing off. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it.